Okay, so this is lesson 16. We are almost done this module. It doesn't sound like a high number, but there's only 18 sets to this modular. So, module. So, we're going to be looking at question number one, but I'm going to be doing it down below question number four. So, um, you're going to have to like listen to my voice as you're writing this stuff down. Um, so you understand what's going on. Because I can still see the question, but so can you. You just got to keep looking up. So it says, sketch and label the net of the following solid figure and label the edge lengths. So a cereal box that measures 13 inches high, 7 inches long, and 2 inches wide. So I'm thinking of a cereal box. I'm thinking like this. And I'm thinking um, cereal box is not very wide. You know what I mean? So we got this cereal box thing going on. So measures 13 high, two wide, and seven inches long. Okay. And what we're doing here is we're, says a cereal box that measures those, a cubic gift box that measures eight inches on each side. We're going to sketch and label this net. So we got to take this cereal box apart and make it flat like a net from yesterday. So we have this box like this. And then if you think about the side of the cereal box, it's not very wide. So then we pull this box apart. And then we have another little skinny side of a cereal box. And then we have the pieces. So we kind of have the front. Right now we're not done yet, but we have the front of the cereal box which is seven by 13. So we could say this is the, this is a seven by 13. And so this is the seven by 13. And then we have a seven by two bottom, seven by two top. We could put it here. We could put it there. It doesn't matter. So we have a seven by two. 7 by 2. And then we have a 2 by 13. So then we have the 13 by 2s and the 13 by 2s. So that's kind of like how we can label it up. Now, this isn't the only way we can do this. We could put these two wings off of this set. The reason why we put them off of one of these is because the 7s are being shared. So if we were to fold this box, this would be like a side, another side. This would be a little flap. This would fold over to the top. And this one would be like that other side over here. Um, if we fill, if we folded it up now, we don't have to do anything with this right now. They just want us to sketch it. Okay. And label it up. So that was that one. So now we're going to move it back up. Okay. Back up to question number two. This tent is shaped like a triangular prism. Okay. So the triangular prism is fairly, see these rectangle, we have these rectangle faces. So we've got a rectangle here, we got a rectangle on the side, and we got one more. So we've got three rectangular sets. So we got three rectangular sets, and then we have two end caps that are triangular. Okay? So we have something along that line of when we're drawing the net. And that's all we're really doing in this lesson is just drawing, taking it from solid and make and drawing it out. We can label it if they want us to, but right now we're just sketching it. Um, it says that the base measures five feet on each side. The tent is eight feet long. So we've got this base being five. We've got eight. Um, and it's an equal lateral base, which means this is five, five, and five. So each of these are going to be eight by fives, eight by fives, eight by fives. And these are going to be um, your triangles. We have to find our height after, which we can find our height easily. But right now, that's what they're giving us so far. Okay, so that's what we have. And hopefully this all made sense because right now it's just the drawing stage.